Hi everybody and welcome back to some more racing here on this channel. This is KPG Guna here and in today's episode we're carrying on with our walkthrough here on Ducati 90th anniversary. Now in the last episode I said to vote for a bike in the 80s era and the one that was most popular is this bike here. The Ducati 851, the 1989 race bike. So we're going to be doing a, a couple of events on this because I've noticed it's not actually a race. It's this tr the first one's a track day. Well, it's one of those events where you have to overtake as many people in a set time. Uh, so we're going to do that first. And I think there's a time trial as well to do on this bike. So we're going to jump into this one now. See if we can do it first time. So here we go. Also, guys, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's liked this series so far and commented on the videos. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully this will be a really good walkthrough here on this channel. And don't forget, guys, we've got Valentino Rossi, the game, MotoGP 16 this week as well. That's something to look forward to at the end of the week. But let's get straight into this now. Um, I'm not sure what, um, how difficult this is. I'm, I'm actually not 100% on the circuit either. But uh, we will try our best. Uh, this bike hopefully is going to be really, really good handling. It's uh, the newest bike that we've had a go on on this game so far. So let's get straight into this and see if we can get uh, all the medals. So here we go. Right, so here we go on this bike. And uh, what view should we go for? I think we'll go for this view. So to get uh, gold, we need to get 24 overtakes. And if I remember rightly, they had these sort of events on ride. And every time you overtake, you get a bonus of three seconds added on. So hopefully we should be able to at least get to silver. But that's not a bad line through there. Really trying to accelerate. Oh, God, this is the, one of the fastest bikes that we've been on this game so far. Really, it feels like... You can feel the difference in the power on this bike to the older bikes in the in the previous era. So let's see if we can do this. Let's try and tuck in. I can't remember this circuit at all. So I'm going to just have to try and take it easy. Oh, I nipped up the inside of that one at speed. Trying to turn in, slow down. Just on the curb. Let's see if we can get past this one and get another three seconds added on. So we've managed to get past uh, six uh, bikes so far. And we've got just over a minute. But uh, hopefully we can keep on bumping that time every time we overtake a bike. Let's really get a decent speed down it. Almost up to under 30 miles an hour. All right, let's slow it down. That looks like there's a quite tight corner. Let's see if all oh, just managed to get to round that bit there. That was a really difficult pass, but we managed to get past it. And now we've accelerated up. Let's see if we can get past a few more on this uh, straight here. See if we can get past this one before the corner. Yes. So we've managed to get to 11 bikes so far. This is not a bad first attempt. Let's see if we can at least get, like I said, get the silver. So we need uh, six more bikes to get to the 18. And we've just got under a minute as well. Oh, no. We just managed to extend that to uh, just over. Let's see if we can keep going on. But as it gets uh, closer to the gold, I think the bike starts spacing out a little bit more, if I remember rightly. The difficulty is on realistic, it's on the hardest level, so I expect it's going to be quite challenging. So we've got up to 15 overtakes so far, and uh, the time's starting to run down now. We've got to be really, really good now. We've really got to start uh, going faster into corners. That is such a tough corner. Really struggled to slow down, managed to get the turn in. Right, we've got to really open the throttle and see if we can get a few more. We still haven't got the 18 yet. That's That was the minimum requirement that I wanted to get in this first attempt yes we're going to get the 18 that's absolutely brilliant so we've got the 18 now let's see how many more we can get we've got just over 30 seconds if we can get that bike in that corner oh my god that was a dangerous overtake but we managed just to pull it off and we've got uh, almost 20 yes we managed to get 20 four more bikes and just under 30 seconds oh this is going to be really really close but i've got to try and maintain a decent speed i can see the bikes in front that i need to overtake and we are running out of time so let's see if we can get to tuck up the inside of this one just made slight contact there but just managed to get it up the inside really struggling to pull this bike over oh just managed to get past there but luckily the bikes running on this uh, event aren't uh, the same at the same level as this bike so we've managed to get things are oh, we gonna get 24 oh god we've managed to do it so we've managed to get 24 so um now the time is uh, extended a little bit more as we go past so uh, we're getting a little bit more bonus time. So, and we've managed to get 26. Can we get 27? Yes, we've managed to get 27. I'm not sure whether we're gonna get another one, can we? The time's really running down. Yes, we're gonna get 28. So we've managed 28. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting to get that many. Can we get 29? Oh no, I don't think we're gonna get this one. Oh damn, almost. We almost got to 29 there. That was an absolutely brilliant first run on that event. And we managed to do it first time, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, so we're going to jump into the next event on this bike. 
I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a time trial. So uh, at least we've had a go on the bike and we not we know what, how it handles. So let's get straight to the next event. So here we go. Oh, look at this, guys. We are starting to unlock the bikes. And it looks like we've unlocked some bikes from the 2000 era. And look at some of these race bikes. These are absolutely rapid. And a Desmo Medici. That's an awesome bike. Oh, look at these. I'm so looking forward to having to go on these bikes. But uh, there is so there's 39 bikes on the game. And so I think we've only had a go on, what, five or six so far in this series. There's so many more to come. And uh, we're going to just keep unlocking bikes, keep unlocking uh, new eras. But uh, we're going to do some more on the 80s in this video. And we may tackle the 90s in the next uh, video. And uh, we will see what's on that. But uh, that's it straight into this. Um, yeah, so it's this time attack. Um, and you've got to get either a bronze, a silver, or a gold. The time's what, 144.775, I think that was. Uh, that uh, looks like a tough time, but uh, it's on a circuit that we have been on before. So hopefully we can do it. So let's just select that. But uh, we will push it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you get about three laps to do these time attacks. So if we don't do it on the first lap, uh, we will keep going and hopefully uh, try and get the gold. But uh, if we can only get the bronze or the silver, we, st we can still move on from that. Um, it's still it's still these are going to be quite challenging it's on the hardest level realistic so let's get straight to that and see if we can do it so here we go right so here we go with this time attack now this is a circuit i have done before i remember it was on ride so i'm just going to have to try and get it in my memory so it may take a, a lap or so to get to the fastest time but hopefully we can get uh, near that 144.775 but uh, as long as we get the 148.775 for the bronze at least we can move on from that but let's see what we can do so this bike handles pretty well and it's quite quick we've got to try and hug the apex we've got to try and get nice and tight in and try and accelerate as quick as we can to get the best time possible but uh, the good thing about getting the free laps when you enter the second lap if you don't manage to do it on the first lap hopefully when you enter the second lap you're running at a different speed and you've got used to the corner so let's just try and get nice and tight really trying to get nice and tight and getting a good accelerated uh, and good drive out these corners and again you have to flip it over there to try oh god almost went onto the uh, gravel there really tight trying to get nice and tight in um, I remember doing a lot of these on rides and they're really uh, challenging you have to try and take the corners as fast as possible get them really nice and tight get them on the curve and uh, so you can uh, flip over to the next corner and this is a really tough section yes I remember this one well oh god just went over the corner of the curb there I think it, you have no choice to do that to try and get this turned in this hasn't been too bad so far but I know there's some really tricky, tricky corners at the end of this uh, circuit which uh, it's not going to be easy to slow down and I'm not sure how well we're doing for time I mean to get near that 144.775 we're going to have to really go fast into these last couple of corners and we've got a really tough one the right hander coming up we're going to have to start slowing down here and let's try and take it from the left and turn in oh god we didn't turn it in oh god i thought the back end was going to go on the gravel we just managed to get a good nice drive right get a nice drive into that left hander let's see how close we're going to get and are we going to do it are we going to get over the line oh my god we managed to do it first time i'm flipping believable can you believe that, guys? I got a 144.158 on my first go. That was absolutely unreal. I'm really, really impressed. But there you go, guys. Uh, maybe I settled in really well on that bike. Right, let's get straight into the next event we're going to do in today's video. So here we go. Also, guys, let me know in the comments below if you've done that time attack and what sort of time you got, whether you did it first time. Because I was really surprised, unrealistic, I managed to do that first time. That was absolutely crazy. But now we're going to do a race on this 1985 750 F1 racing bike around a, a Road America circuit. I'm not sure what version it is. Now, I haven't done a race around a Road America in a while. Doing it on a bike is going to be uh, quite challenging. I've done it in a car on Project Cars a few times. But this bike is slightly older than the previous race bike. It's got uh, slightly less brake horsepower. It may be a bit lighter, so let's get straight into this race and hopefully we can get all three medals. But the bikes are starting to get a little bit more powerful, faster. The handling is starting to improve as well, so that's a positive. So we're going to get straight into this race and uh, hopefully we can do it. But um, yeah, I'm, I cannot wait to get to uh, the 90s and the 2000s because I actually own a 2001 Fireblade and I know um, what the performance is like on that bike and they're just so goddamn quick. So we cannot wait to get to that era and that sort of power. But let's get straight into this race and see if we can get the free, the free medals. Let's get straight into it now. So here we go. 
Right, so here we go with this race on this uh, Ducati 750 F1 racing bike. Now this is slightly older than the previous bike, slightly less brake horsepower, I'm not sure what the performance is going to be like, but hopefully we can have a good race. Right, let's try and get a good start. Um, I don't think the acceleration is as good as the previous bike, but the, I felt the front wheel wanting to lift there, so I had to push forward slightly, but we're not sure what version of this Road America circuit we're on, but we know it's quite a, long, uh, a lengthy uh, circuit, looking at the distance at the start of the race. So um, we're going to have to try and use a lap just to get it settled in and hopefully we can stay with the front runners in this race. We want to at least get a podium place if we can and uh, we're sitting in P9 at the moment. Let's see if we can get to nice and tight around this corner. Now we're going to come towards quite a long straight. I think I can slightly remember this version. I think I have done this version before but uh, we'll see how we do. Let's try and get the slipstream. Let's see if we can get past a few bikes. Um, before we get to the next corner. No, I don't seem to be gaining, but we're getting up to over 140 miles now. That's probably one of the fastest uh, speeds we've been on one of these bikes so far in the game. Let's see if it's slowed down. We've got a really tough left down a corner. Let's get nice and tight in. Right, accelerate out, and uh, just try and not to let that front wheel go up. And, oh, my, oh, damn, 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 damn. The front wheel really wanted to go up over that uh, that uh, part of the circuit there. We just, uh, as we went over that set hill, the front wheel lifted up. And uh, if I didn't uh, dab the back brake, I think I would have uh, land landed on my arse. But luckily, we managed to control that. Right, so we've managed to get up to P7 now. Let's see if we can gain a few more places in these next couple of corners. And that wasn't a bad corner. Just making slight contact, but getting nice and tight into that corner. And we've managed to get up to P5. So, yes, we are starting to settle in. But uh, like I said, this circuit's quite long. So uh, we have to try and get to the end of the circuit so we can have in our memory what uh, corners we've got to be aware of. So we're definitely going to have to uh, remember that uh, section where the front wheel went up so we don't do that again got to be really careful right so we've got a, a nice section here where we can get up to a decent speed let's see if we can get in the slipstream see if we can get past a few more riders before we get into the towards the end of the lap uh, we've got a really tough right hander coming up looking on the track map let's see if we can just slow down here try and tuck in behind a few of these and see if we can gain a few more places can we no we didn't get a decent enough drive around there just had to back off slightly as well i don't want to crash out let's see if we can slow it down through here Oh God, that was a bit, oh God, there's a bit of a brow of a hill there that just threw me out slightly. Got to be careful on sections like that. I just felt the bike curve go a little bit light. Let's see if we can get nice and tight. Right, we're coming towards the end of the circuit here. And yes, look at that, over nearly uh, two and a half minutes a lap we're looking at uh, for this circuit. And that's quite long and we've got another two laps to go and we're sitting in p5 which is not bad let's see if we can gain a few more places and see if we can push this bike and go a little bit faster but it is not bad actually only over 140 miles an hour on the straights it's not bad acceleration wise it's not it's not as quick as the previous bike we were on for the uh, two other events but um, it's definitely not slow and uh, it does handle too, not too bad it doesn't turn in as well as the uh, other bike either but uh, it's not uh, uh, so bad that I can't control it. I mean, we are using these, these uh, bikes on default settings, cause, so you could make them slightly better if you don't think they're good enough for you to uh, challenge in the races. But uh, we still got to gain another couple of places to get uh, at least a medal, and that's what the uh, aim is in this race. Let's see if we can slow down. Right, we've got to be careful around this corner. Remember what happened last time? The front wheel wanted to go up quite a bit. Right, so we slowed down, so we kept the front wheel. And again, over the hill, got to be careful. See what I mean? It wanted to go up. Oh God, the back end kicked as I pressed a little bit too much front brake. We've got to be careful. We don't we don't do that. But we're not doing too bad so far. We did improve through there. Let's hope we can improve our times. Get nice and tight. Stay off the curb. Yes, we've got a nice drive through there. But we don't seem to be gaining on the AI. They all seem to be quite quick around here Let's see if we can get nice and tight around this corner and start just opening that throttle and trying to get in their slipstream getting oh god the split time was slightly we are running quicker but then um, we are going to be quicker than the previous lap because that was the starting lap we're only going to see how much we've improved once we get to the next lap for the final lap of the race and we've managed to get up to p4 and hold it but this is a section where you can start to open up the throttle let's see if we can get a nice line through here Let's see if we can go up the inside. No, I got blocked up, but I managed to gain another place. Oh, God, I had a break, and I've managed to get in front of them. Yes, we managed to take the lead, but we know there's a tricky uh, right-hand corner coming up, so we're going to have to get the right, uh, right line because they're going to come up the inside of me. Yes, they are. Uh, I think they can just uh, control the bike slightly better than me, but I've managed to turn right into the uh, curb there. Got a nice line through there, and i managed to uh, hold the lead, which is absolutely brilliant. We can hold this into the final lap. Maybe we can get all three medals in this first attempt. But uh, they are staying with me 
on this uh, final bit stage of this uh, circuit. I'm not managing to pull away too much. Right, we're going on to the last straight of this second lap. I see what the gap is. I think it's uh, about half a second, and that's not too bad going into the final lap. I just need to hold on to it, and it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to try my best. As long as we finish in the top three, I'll be happy. So we did a, a two minute, 28 seconds uh, on that second lap. Let's see if we can improve on this lap and see if we can go a little bit faster. But the gap is a uh, 0.4, so it's less than half a second. So we're definitely not pulling away. So we're going to have to be, be aware. And like, you can just see the, uh, the sign there saying that they're quite close behind me. So I'm going to have to be really careful and be aware they may come up the inside at some point. Let's get nice and tight into that corner and uh, try and accelerate. Now we know we can go really fast in this section. Let's see if we can get up to maximum speed and try and go around that corner and not lose it this time we need to get try and get faster into that corner but uh, uh, try not to let that front wheel um, go up too much but and we have slowed on that uh, split time as a point one of a second uh, slower than the previous lap so that's uh, we haven't improved that section right slow down slow down slow down really going to a little bit hot had to turn in there and oh god almost lost the front wheels accelerating there really trying to keep that front end down and again i've lost the front end it just wants to go up as i accelerate up the hill but these things are going to happen more as we go up at the eras and get on more powerful, faster bikes. So we're going to have to be a little bit uh, better at that and be aware that if we're going to tap the power on going up hills or out of slow corners, that the front wheel is going to be come up and they're a little bit harder to handle. But hopefully it hasn't cost us completely. We're still in P2. We're still within to get at least two medals. But if we can chase down this uh, other bike in front of us and try and get past him, towards the end of the circuit we will try but uh, he is trying to pull away but if we can get nice and tight we may be able to draw him in really trying to get faster around that corner but um it hasn't been a too bad of a race on this bike. It does take you a while to settle in, not just on the circuit. And we managed to get past him there, but we've gone out wide slightly. And he's taken me back. Oh, my God. See what I mean? Again, that was an awesome pass. And then I went into the, uh, that turn a little bit too hot, had to break, and I lost the place again. And I think this is where it's going to get difficult. We've only got a few more corners towards the end of the circuit. Am I going to get another opportunity to pass, or am I going to have to settle for second place? I'm going to just really try hard to go into these next couple of corners a little bit quicker than I previously did on the last lap let's try and go up the hill really trying to power up there but I don't think we're going to get uh, close enough can we get nice and tight into this corner can we get up the inside really trying to get around this uh, right hand uh, no I don't think we're going to get it in he's got a much better drive out the corner but uh, I don't think we've got enough time to get in his slipstream and get past him but uh, it looks like we're going to have to take second place but uh, it's been a brilliant experience on this bike um, it's been a, but this circuit is a very challenging circuit you've got to be aware of those certain uh, situations where you've, you're going to come out those slow corners and the bike is going to lift off and I didn't get it right and it cost me the first place but uh, two uh, medals uh, for that in the second place we can still move on to the next uh, race but we can always come back and get uh, three stars I'm pretty I probably will come back and do it I mean I, I think if I didn't make that mistake going up the hill I reckon I would have got all three stars but it was still a very enjoyable race on that circuit and and on that bike right let's get into what's coming next in the next part so let's get straight into it now here we go Right, everybody, in the next episode, we're going to be hitting the 90s. So we're going to just jump into this and see what bikes are available from 1990 to 1998. Some real big, powerful Ducati bikes to choose from, I expect. So let's see what's uh, coming up. So let's just select this tour. So, oh, God, we've got a couple of championships in this one. Let's see what this one. So it's a Monster 900cc. So there's a few events on that one. Let's just quickly choose that and have a look at that. So, oh, God, that's quite powerful. 900cc bike. And uh, what else have we got here? So we've got, oh, it's just this B category. Oh, so we get to select. Oh, there's loads to choose from. Oh, look at them. Some really powerful ones. Well, that one's over 100 brake horsepower. Let's see if there's any others here. Oh, yes, there is. This, oh, I think these are some of the bikes you can choose from. Yeah, these are ones that are in that option. So, yeah, so there's quite a few uh, bikes in this 90s era tour to uh, test out. So hopefully we can do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and uh, comment, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.